okay. I really respect the Honda's use of rev limiter. All of it. <laughs> you went All from right. a Viper to a BRZ. To a BRZ. <laughs> oh, wow. Stone Cold Steve Austin, bro, let's go! I'm not about to do let's that. Let's go! Just get his control. Gary, start it off! Come on, Gary! Shock on the Stone Cold! <laughs> I don't know. Gary, oh, getting, getting, getting prepped. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a baby Stone Cold right there. That's a, a one and a two. Back to the ones and back to the twos. Oh, oh it's kicking Gary, in. Gary, how you feeling? I feel like Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man are in my stomach, just <laughs> bench pressing every breakfast item I've ever ate in my life. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a Royal Rumble. <laughs> we are back with another episode of This Versus That. Thanks to our buddies here at NOS Energy Drink. Dang. So we can keep giving you guys the freest entertainment on the internet. Delicious. Gary is on his fifth one this morning. This so here's what's gonna go down. <laughs> Is that six? Six. 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 God. We got some rad import stuff. Mm -hmm. One of them's rad in my book because it's got real choppy V8 sounds. The other one's rad in my book because it's true to the heart and it's red. It's a perfect day for racing. Let's go check these cars out. Please introduce yourself and tell us what you have brought. What's up guys, my name is Carlo. This is my 92 Honda Civic, swapped and fully built. It has a 62-66 turbo, makes about 600 horsepower. Uh, it weighs about 2,000 pounds. So. so wait, you said swap. What is swapped on it? It's another Honda motor, but it has aftermarket pistons, aftermarket cylinder sleeves, pretty much all done up. It's a 2.1 stroker. B20? Uh, it's an LS, so the B18, but it has bigger oversized pistons and oversized sleeves, so. What made you want to build all of this in a Honda? I grew up street racing. Okay. I was in the middle of building a street race car and I got arrested and I was like, you know what? I'm going to build a show car and then I got, kind of got carried away and now it's a little bit of both. Nice. <laughs> transmission setup? What's What do we got? It's pretty much a GSR transmission with the LS 5th and the M Factory LSD. GSR okay. is shorter than LS, right? Yes. Thrown around LS is that. No, no, is I, this, just, I keep hearing I keep keep hearing familiar two second, letters. Original Ford's LS over, over here, <laughs> you know. Or the LS. Where's the rest of them? I mean, dude, it's pretty clean in here, man. I mean, you got a chrome cage. You've got the status yeah. seat. See, the thing is about these Honda race cars, you guys get into detail. The cages, the floorboards, everything about Hondas. We were talking about this. When you see a Honda, it's like, my boy's chromed out. That's a Honda see man my, right see there. See my trailing arms, they're chromed out back what? there. Hey guys, come on this side real quick. You said your trailing arms are chrome? Yeah, so we built this car for SEMA in 2019. Uh, it was a Hot Wheel, <laughs> like a Hot Wheel Legends tour yeah, car. You gotta look, you you gotta look back here, sir. Take it all the back. apart and it's oh, all. Oh, no, Gary, Gary, down, Gary. You got subframe Drop race, it. arms, no rear sway bar, so it's made for drag racing. What coilovers are these? They're the function form type twos. Was oh. that the GSR rear? Brick brace disc or yeah, whatever. GSR oh man, you got conversion. Oh. Man, looking good. You got the team sticker on the side. This reminds me of a younger day when I was out in the street. <laughs> Damn, T37 SL. Yep, uh, Sega is actually. Sonic. I do want to point something out though, Zach. We got a little bit of American still left on this thing right here. A little Edelbrock on this thing. Oh, I'll be damned. Oh. They're actually pretty popular in the Honda world. They, there's really? a lot of people that run them, yeah, and they make good power. Um, they have a couple different versions. They have the Performer X and that one's the Victory X. So if you had to guess, what do you think this thing would, would Off run the from trailer, a day? I think it would do like 11s on slicks, and once I dialed it in, I think it would do 9s. Okay. Uh, Did you bring slicks? I didn't. I couldn't source any in time. Damn. Oh, nice. So I dropped PSI on these tires. We'll see. They're the Falcon RT660s and we'll see how they hook. I like your front end like semi resembles a skyline from like the bumper down with the with the, the ducks and it's red. <laughs> anyway, before Gary <laughs> figures out more ways to try to, you know, bring this to skyline, let's go check out this other car. <laughs> Welcome to Dino Everything, the show where we dino everything from simple cars to stupid cars to luxury cars to race cars. It's a simple show. We got a dino, we're gonna put cars on it. 
reruns, you could bring a tuner, you could just run what you brung. We're gonna have face-offs. But we're also guessing the horsepower. That's the, the fun part. Is Price is right rule. Right. Price is right rule. Power is right. Price. Ooh. Power is right. I want it that way. So can you please introduce yourself yeah. and tell us what you brought? Yeah, my name's Curtis. I used to have a Viper and my wife didn't like it, so I said, well, what do you like? And she pointed at a BRZ. And I was like, But you went all from right. a Viper to a BRZ? To a BRZ. Why? She wanted this, and I was like, all right, challenge accepted. I can do something with that. So went and put an LS in it. What was it like to go from a Viper to a stock BRZ? I bet that was thrilling. I didn't even drive it. <laughs> I drove it home, and, and then I started ordering parts for it. I started out with an LS3, but it blew up real quick. So then I had some other guys build me an LS7, and that blew up real quick. So then I found this guy in Napa. He built me an LSR-based LS7. I've been beating the shit out of this thing ever since I got it. You're running the factory dash and everything, everything. Well, I was running the factory dash and it all worked. Yeah. Even the AC, I took the AC off recently, but it worked. All that stuff worked, but the factory dash, the gauges were so tiny yeah, yeah. and it didn't really have any numbers. It just had like yeah. a line that moved mm -hmm. up and down. So I didn't know if I was at 180 degrees or 240 degrees on the coolant. And that's kind of a big deal. So I said, finally, I got to get that out and I put a MoTeC dash in it. This thing is clearly set out to party. Like what yeah. kind of power are you making? So mm. I built this thing to absolutely not do drag racing. And every time I drag race, I break something, right? I got buddies that have ZR1s and Vipers still, all those guys and they go fast. They like to drag, go to the drag strip. So I've gone twice and I've only made it past a warm up. Now here we are today, I'm gonna try well, it again. Thanks for coming <laughs> yeah. Both of y'all about to have a lot of fun today. Uh, yeah. that's, that's why I'm here. Yo, check out this uh, glove box setup. This is nice. You got like the secret James Bond drop down switch panel. Yeah, I didn't put the smoke screen in yet. Let me see what that looked like real quick. The push to start still works push too? Push to start still works, hey. everything works. Boy. What fuel are you running in this thing? I got it tuned for 100. If I need to, I can flip this one of those switches and it goes to like a 91 octane tune. Okay. Are you running a hydraulic roller cam or solid roller? Solid roller cam. Oh. Got a Ford 8.8 uh, .8 diff in the back. Okay. What? with some drive shaft shop axles. They helped me out too. I, I broke an axle and they got me another one right away. Look at that exhaust. What size tubing on the exhaust? So it's a three inch dual. Three inch? So I built all that myself. Uh, what's the wheel and tire setup you yeah, got? Yeah, can we here? talk about these? Yeah, so this is new for me. I've never really tried these. I bought these a couple years ago because okay. of my buddies. Those look That's, familiar, yeah? I usually run some Volks with ET Street R's, 325, 3518s. And they stick out a little bit, but I figured for this, I, I might as well try these guys out. So you think your, your axles are going to be able to hold up to running a slick like that? or? Well, apparently they, these are better for your axles than the radials are, so. Okay. We'll see what it does, I hope. Science. I don't know. It works. Bitches. You have the same setup that we have in Ken's new WRC car. This bar mounts across the, oh, the back. Oh, that's like, a smarty cam. So when I watch a video, you mm -hmm. can see me driving and you can see on the screen like your, your, your brake pressure, your throttle pressure. So basically doing all this work, what would you say your favorite part of the car is? A lot of it's my favorite. I love how the thing sounds, but so like I said, I got buddies with ZR1s and yep. Vipers and yeah, the thing makes a lot of power, but these guys, they're all pushing like a thousand horsepower nowadays. You know, I had to, I had to bring a little extra. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brother yeah. Dad Daniels! Yeah! I got a little equalizer sauce. Jesus okay. Christ. You'll blow yourself to pieces. The Blue Ranger's gonna be popping wheelies today. The Blue Ranger versus the Red Ranger. Oh, hey, man. don't let me Red down Ranger. over there, okay? Blue Ranger versus the Red Ranger. Well, He's looking for a decisive blow. Gentlemen, here's how we typically do this. Normally, we run from a dig to just a straight up hand drop to a thousand foot for the very first race. And then from there, if there is a disparity, we need to negotiate a better race. So a thousand feet heads up for the first race. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let's do it. As much as I love Hondas, I do not like BRZ, FRSs, or whatever you want to call those. I know from the dig, the BRZ gonna get them, but I want the Honda to win. God damn it, Diego, fucking Honda. Can't hate on Hondas, but I gotta go. I gotta go Blue Ranger, BRZ. Honda, sorry LS guys. So I love the LS and the BRZ and the slicks and skinnies, but the candy is hitting on this Civic. I'm going with the Civic. I'm gonna have to say the BRZ, just because it's gotta drive some to LS in, like a big one. And I'm a choppy boy, but I feel like the uh, Honda is gonna give it a run for its money. Actually, I don't think either of you guys are gonna get traction. Who knows, chop. And there's no better way to warm up your trans, your diff, probably $50,000 uh, LSR. Then you just give her a good old.
Okay! Both parties off to a terrible start, but whatever, hey, they boogie. I really respect the Honda's uh, use of rev limiter. All of it. Just say it's f***ing <laughs> shitty. He came and just race. You hear that noise coming? Where happened? He's, he's going fast and coming back. You gotta go fast this way, not this way. Just <laughs> go straight. Balls are falling asleep. Micah, Will Gary speaks truth. <laughs> All right, well, uh... That was an interesting start, but, you know, we gotta do a roll race on you guys or something because you didn't get traction at all. You had, like, 10 cars on. Okay, I'm down. So, so what we got? What do you want to do? I think a roll would be a little better, maybe, like, a 35, 40. Let's remind them, if you lose this... I'm done. You're done. Yeah. So figure out what you want because this is your only yeah, chance to try to stand if you can work yeah. a deal. Can we do a 50 roll? Because if I'm going to do a 40 roll, I'm going to be in second gear at low RPM. What do you want? He's he's calling the shots. I'm down for a 50 roll and uh, if you give me two cars. Okay, fine. Let's try it, yeah. How much more honest can they get, Corey? Our man right here says he has to go to second gear at 50. Then I would say, oh, I want to do a 45 roll to make him work if I lost by 10 But yeah, they're not drag racers. I'm not a drag. Me but neither. Like, but I know when I'm getting shafted. Like, <laughs> The roll-up was better than I expected. The Honda didn't even sound like he tried. Oh man, he's running out of space real quick. Is it me or does it not sound like that going this way? Like he only sounds like that coming up the street. Maybe because you hear all the spice. Mm. All right, so the official word is BRZ by a car and a half. The BRZ didn't win. Good old American engineering. Sorry, Honda. Sorry, Gary. Sports shit. There you go. Hey, by the way, uh, the blue flags are 1,500 feet. So. I know, brakes went out. We figured it, because you look like you were... Uh, I hit the going. brakes and it just goes... Boys, thank you for right, coming man. out and uh, having us. a good time. Yeah, thank you, Gary. Good run. Well. Congratulations. So. Good run. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Make a face of what it looks like with no headlights. Get it. Both of these cars are fast as hell. Ah!